Everything that you see around you is made of something we call matter. Matter includes stuff like your pencil, a snowball, orange juice, and even the air we breathe. If something has weight and fills up space, it's matter. We can measure different characteristics of matter, like how heavy it is, its mass, how much room it takes up, its volume, how heavy it is for the size it takes up, its density, and how much gravity pulls it, its weight. When we talk about mass, we're talking about how much matter is in something. Let's say you have a book. That book's mass is how much matter the book is made of. You might think mass and weight are the same thing, but they're not. Weight is how strongly gravity pulls on something. If you were to take that same book to the moon, its weight would change because the moon's gravity is weaker than Earth's. But its mass would stay the same because the book is still made of the same amount of matter. Scientists usually measure mass in grams. For example, a typical textbook might have a mass of about 1,000 grams, which is also known as one kilogram. Volume is a different thing. Volume is about how much space something takes up. For instance, you could fit more dimes in your pocket than nickels because dimes are smaller and take up less space. So we say a nickel has a greater volume than a dime. We usually measure volume in cubic centimeters or milliliters. If you have a box and you want to know its volume, you need to measure how long it is, how wide it is, and how tall it is. Then, you use a formula to figure out the volume. To measure the volume of a three-dimensional object, such as a box, you first need to measure the length, width, and height of the box. For some things, like liquids or objects with irregular shapes like rocks, it's better to use a tool called a graduated cylinder to measure volume. This tool works by showing how much water level rises when you put the object in it. This rise in water level equals the volume of the object. The unit for measuring volume in a graduated cylinder is a milliliter, ml, which is equal to one centimeter quarters. Now let's talk about density. Have you ever noticed how oil floats on water? This is because water is denser than oil. Density is how much matter is in a certain amount of space. If you put different liquids in a jar, they will sort themselves into layers based on their density. liquid that is less dense will float on top of a liquid that is more dense. To calculate the density of an object, you divide its mass by its volume. Density, mass, volume, all sorts of poor. Even if you have more or less of a certain kind of matter, its density doesn't change. For example, the density of gold is always 19.3 per semicolon. You could have a little piece of gold or a big bar of gold, but the density will be the same. It's a bit like how a cup of water and a bathtub full of water are both H2O. And if you took a tiny scoop from each, you'd find that they're made of the exact same stuff.